All right, guys. So enjoy DG Farg and Bot Caillou. I'll be back in a minute. Hey everybody, Compton's back. All right, so we got DJ Farg and we got Bot. So I'm just gonna see, say, Farb and Bot. And right now it looks like Farb in the lead with one set. Also in the lead on this set with 26 points to no points by Bot. So you're looking at both these players. Both of them are good challengers. And right there, you kind of wanted to see a love. I mean, Bot should have seen Farb coming up towards the net, like he did when he was playing me, and just throw a lob to that back line, to that back corner. That kid running up and down stairs. Whew! Gets me out of breath. <laughs> that kid who's a smoker. Alright, so Farb right now with advantage. One disc will give him the set right here, and the game, actually. And, I mean... Here's the thing, you see Farb, he's throwing a lot of filth shots and a lot of filths that maybe aren't strong enough to make it all the way to the corner, and they're getting a nice little bounce or a skim there off that wall. Not necessarily a bad thing, just a different type of throw and a nice little bank shot there from Farb. 13 to 67 in that game, that set two, takes game one of this series. It's up one to nothing. So right now, I mean, Bot looks a little bit rattled. He did just lose to me. Um, he lost that game there. He's not really throwing perfects. He's not on the game that he was playing. I expect him to kind of sit back, take a breath, kind of like I did after I raged so hard, and uh, bring this forward. Nice, nice hop there by Bot from that front corner. Picks it off right in the post. Ooh, and an error there by Bot slid out of the way of the actual throw. It's going to be 17-7 right now. Oh, too far back, but he does get it. Loves it right back to the back for Farb. Here we go. Boom. Nice bank shot. Farb with the error, not picking up that grab. And we're at 28-7 right now. Farb making his comeback, or at least trying to at this point. All right, so straight down the line from Farb. That was a regular A shot. Was not a a quick curve down the line. Usually you expect to see a quick curve down the line, but that nice bank shot from Bot there seals it to 44 points. He's an advantage right. Well, not an advantage anymore until after Farb throws. But uh, here we go. Add advantage now for Bot. If he gets this disc, he does win this set. And boom, there it is with the short hop. 
All right, so set one in game two goes to bot. Barb kind of on the back foot right now. I mean, he still does have that first game in his pocket. Beautiful filth from the middle. Gets him that first seven points of this set. And you can see it, Farb right there throwing a lot of a lot of filths, but sadly, once again, missing a shot through the center, and it's nine to seven right now. Another beautiful filth out of Farb playing up on that horizontal midline. And right now, resetting to the serving circle was not fast enough to get to that line shot. And both these players kind of keeping it near the wall, though that that throw, both of those throws end up in the middle. Bot getting it off that single bounce, 28-16. If he can win this right now and send it to basically a best of three, he's going to move into that best of three with the momentum, having won the second game of the first two. And it's something you can't... You kind of want that momentum. If you lose the first game, it's okay. You get that second game, and all of a sudden, it's in your favor going into a best of three. And the Pythagoras puts it up to 46 to 16 right now. Another lob to the back, very, uh, very normal for Bot from what I've seen so far. Likes to keep people off the net, keep them on that back line so that he can get uh, closer up throws, things like that. In a beautiful double hop there. Grants in the game, and we're going into game three, ladies and gentlemen, tied up one game apiece. And yeah, like I've said before, it's a best of three at this point, but you want to be the one winning that second game, because that's usually the person that carries the momentum into the best of three, and that can get this first game in the, uh, the figurative best of three. All right, so going into game three, here we go. It's going to be Farb's pull. Goes with the filth, no juice on it but does get that early score for seven points. Yes, the Dak Waggle, as I call it, Total Ross, is my favorite taunt in the game. Beautiful serve filth from Farb. Gets those 10 points, and I believe we might have just seen back-to-back -back, uh, aces there. I was actually looking at chat. Beautiful filth. Once again, lobbing to the back. Again. Farb losing his juice at that point. I mean... It, that's just another error coming out of Farb. I mean, we've seen him make a lot of errors. Another error slide there. Did miss the disc. And, I mean, right now he's just kind of... He's got to cool off. Realize that he's making some mistakes. Make sure that those mistakes don't happen. Slow himself down a little bit. And, uh, you know, kind of rebound from this, this back foot that he's on right now. <laughs> oh, I'm not ruined. I'm just commentating a game. I went down to grab a soda and check on my kids, and I set these two up because they seem to be very evenly matched, so I'm, uh, I was just kind of letting them play and coming back and doing a little bit of commentary. In fact, I actually did commentate the semis on for the 2v2 tournament earlier this week as well. Ooh, beautiful juice throw right there. Bot does get to it, and Farb... Not willing to slide to give up his juice, and that's going to be bad for him as it's 69 to 17. Set one going to bot in this game three, and right now bot completely on that front foot right now. Farb just kind of you know trying to figure out what's going on. He is getting a lot of slides in. Does get that back lob. Does drop the juice from bot as well with that back lob, and he's on two perfects himself. Oh, but he does not get the juice. Gets the slide up to the front. Oh, front slide. And gets booped in the back. Boop. Oh. Wonderful, wonderful play between these two players right now. Oh, almost a super there from Farb. Not long enough in that circle, though, to actually get to it. And that's one thing that uh, D or Bot J does have to worry about here. If he starts playing, say, a McKenna, a McKenna's going to get power shots off of that all day long. I hope that if he's playing a McKenna, he plays her quite differently because that is a very dangerous thing to continually be lobbing into the back corner like that. And a beautiful hop right there from Farb catches right on the post and gets the score. He gets his first uh, first score of this set, 36 to 13 at this point. All right, oh, 
I'm going to chalk that up as an error on Bot right there. He should have had that. That's a very easy disc to catch, even with it being a perfect. Especially when you get up to a level where you're throwing perfects all the time, you're seeing perfects all the time. It's one of those things that you should be able to catch those back and forth passes. There's enough time between when they throw it and when it finally gets to you that uh, you have to line up. Oh, and Farb missing the step in on the lob and also missing the catch. Loose is set two, and it's going to be two games to one in favor of Bot. What'd I say, guys? What'd I say? You win that second game, have the momentum going into game three to put it one game away. Now, all, all Bot has to do is win one of two games here. If he doesn't win the first, he can win the second. If he can win the first and just walk away with this. I mean, it's really in his court right now. And in fact, we saw Farb drop, pull two games on me and then proceed to drop three straight. So uh, we'll see how he comes back here. Farb, I don't know if he just doesn't have the stamina yet as a disc jam player, but uh, he's been around for a little while. He should. But it does look like as the match goes on, he's getting a little bit, you know... You know, he's making more and more mistakes. Uh, we'll see if he can correct that, and it might just be a mental thing. He might be getting on tilt right now. Uh, these two players have played before. Foe said that he was getting on tilt last time that they were playing. So it might be at the point where he's so far on tilt right now from making mistakes or missing shots that he's just unrecoverable at this point. It's something you really have to watch to make sure that you don't get to that point. It's one of those reasons why when you see me play and I lose a game and I'm getting on tilt because I'm making mistakes, you see me breathe a big deep breath in, purse my lips, and just relax, just calm, just center yourself, right? Alright, so we're at 30 to 25, that's essentially the same here in this gym. And Bot has to slide, losing his juice. And right now, Farb doing a lot of sliding as well. Not able to get a perfect throw on any of that. And the step in doesn't work for him either. There's a perfect finally. We finally get a perfect out of Farb. But <laughs> the next shot is not a perfect. He's having problems getting to that juice right now. Whereas Bot just kind of jumping around, throwing perfects. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Huge, huge rally right there to win that first set for Bot. And we're going into a do-or-die situation here for a farm. I mean, if he does not win this set, it's a goodbye, go home, you lost. And Bot right now, you know, I, I don't know if he's feeling any pressure. Sometimes it's a little bit of pressure. And this is usually the type of situation for me where I have one set left to put him away. And I end up with the dreaded 49. Beautiful serve there. That's going to be an error on bot. I mean, if it's a blue like that, you should be getting to it every single time. I mean, the fact that you can run and get to it as a purple, it's perfect, means that as a blue, you should get into it every time. But bot getting another score, making it 25 10. Right now, both these players kind of, you know, keeping it on that outside wall. You see Farb there. Dropping a nice hard hop from the far corner, getting the score, 25-21. Ooh, and once again, a lob coming out of bot. He figures, since I had to slide, I might as well put him on the back line anyway, since I can't continue my juice streak. So, because one thing, if you didn't know, a lob will actually stop your streak, your perfect streak. So, if you got juice, don't lob, unless it's absolutely necessary. All right, so beautiful wall ride coming out of Farb, almost catching Bot off guard, but Bot, the man of the hour with defense, just back and forth, using those slides to perfection, and that is something that I wish I had perfected. Beautiful short hop there from Farb, gets or from Bot, keeping Farb on that that serving circle for just a split second too long, and it's point right now. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. That last disc puts it at three games to one in favor of bot bot is your winner of this match ggs ggs all right Whew. all right 
trying to decide if I'm going to go back into queue or what. 